In the last two lessons, we talked about pop art and we talked about neutralized colors. We talked about using two complementary colors like green and red and mixing them together in different amounts to achieve neutralized colors. Um, and I said that in your two pictures, you had to have, or in your four squared picture here, you had to have two different neutralized mixes. So my first one here being red and green and my other one being the purple and the yellow. I said that I have my two pure colors right here on the select button and I had my pure colors in the little fronts of the earbuds. Um, in your next two, all right, we've got this one up here and this one down here, you may choose another color scheme. Some of the other color schemes that we've talked about in the past are monochromatic first grade we did monochromatic and I used different values of the same color so one of them I'm gonna make monochromatic and the other one we talked about in the past is analogous and that's where you would use like two colors um, say red orange and yellow and you'd use a variety of those different colors so I'm gonna make one <coughs> that's analogous colors and one that's monochromatic colors so I'm going to start with my analogous colors and I think for the um, purpose of the demonstration I will use red, orange, and yellow. And notice that I'm putting on my palette both the primary and the secondary colors there. I've got my red, I've got my orange, and I've got my yellow so that I can make some different unique kinds of color mixes. And so I'm going to get started here. I'm going to paint um, pure color kind of right in the center. And I think I'll do orange. Use my primary color in the center of my button here. And remember it's temper paint, so it should be thick, rich paint. It shouldn't be watery and watered down. Okay, so there we've got our yellow, and actually the yellow is going to tie in here, and it's going to tie in a little bit over there as we make our um, analogous colors here. And I'm going to use some orange. Over here I'm going to actually make a yellowish orange. And since I was consistent in how I used one color here and one color there, and the same color here and here, I'm going to do the same thing for this painting. I'm going to use this yellow-orange color for my um, selecting wheel. I don't even know what you call it. Um, and I'll use it for my screen as well. Push off my brush down here. I'm going to use some um, orange red back here. Actually, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to use orange red in the back.
Notice I'm thoroughly mixing my colors. Wipe off my brush again. And use just orange. Change my brush here so I can get in the smaller areas. Notice I'm laying the paint on thickly.
So you can see how that one, being the analogous colors, is now done. Um, and that concludes our analogous color portion.